Figma to an actual Android or iOS application is now possible without code. Yes, it's as simple as it sounds. All you need to do is design your design in Figma and then export it to a very special tool that we're gonna use today called Bravo. I used it over the weekend and I'm absolutely in love. Also, you can export from Bravo to the Play Store or the App Store like this. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so to begin with, we will start with Figma. Travely is the app name that I'm giving. And I'm gonna start off with an iPhone 11 Pro or iPhone 10 artboard from right here. I'm going to change the color of the background to pure black. You can keep it white or any other color that you like. But in this case, I like dark mode, so that's what we're going for. And now I'm opening a UI kit that I found on the community called Travel Cards. I will have a link in the description. As you can see, there's this nice little header here, which I really like. So I'm going to copy this and paste it right here in my artboard right here. Make sure that it's the same size. I'm gonna press K, K on the keyboard and hold shift and just drag it out. So everything resizes to the size of this artboard right here. Now this is fantastic. Don't worry about the text here. We will be adding some automation. So this text changes based on location, etc. We will now be placing some cards for, you know, different locations of Cape Town or in any other location. I'm just going to copy this card and place it right here. Absolutely wonderful. Now we only have to place one item here since this will be a list of different hotels of Cape Town. I won't be giving it too much functionality because the video will get too long and too complex. We also want one page that will basically show us the details of this hotel in this case. For the hotel, I'll delete the top card and replace the top card with this little card here. And I'm gonna make sure that I expand it, press K, hold shift and do the same trick that I did before. Of course, this is just to expand the image, etc. Yeah, that's fine. I'll remove the white background, of course, because I just want it to be dark mode. And I will replace, I will change the text color to a white. I will change the font, of course, since this is not appropriate for this design. Ninito Sans, regular. And make sure that the text size is 20 or below in this case. Great. I'll place all these elements right below it, the price and everything. And I will also have some space for the description and all that. But for now, I'm just going to keep this top section here, not going to go too deep into the details. The one thing that I would like to place is like a little call button because I feel people would like to talk to the hotel. So I'm going to place a call button and we will add a calling functionality also to this. It's going to be very simple. I'll go to my favorite icon library called remixicons.com and right here I will search for a phone icon. Uh, this looks good. I will copy the SVG, bring it back here and paste the SVG inside this. Make sure this is white. For Bravo to put in all the data and everything, it needs to recognize the Figma design. And it's simpler than it sounds. And right click here, click on frame selection. Once you're done with that, it's created and it's turned it into a frame like this. So it's named frame one. Now a lot of you might get lost during all this process. So make sure I'll have a link in the description to Bravo tags master list. Inside these tags, as you can see, we have containers and top bars. This is what we need. I'll expand this. Inside this, we have a container and we have a top bar. And we want a top bar in this case that will hide on scroll. So whenever you scroll, it will automatically hide. So I'll copy this code or this name here. And inside this, where we wrote container, we'll just replace this container with that tag that we had paste. So container, top bar, hide scroll. Perfect. Nothing else needs to be done. Now, if I go to Cape Town, this is a text. This is text, which is fine. Before London, I, I'll replace this name, which is London to the name of the box that we want. We'll say city. Okay. And before city, we will write a small star. Hold shift and press eight. That will produce a star. Once that is done, star city is what it's called. Same for Gregory Lane. We'll change the United Kingdom to uh, country and country we will change we will add another star before country for this card here we want to do the same thing right click frame selection while you have the frame selected hold command or control on the keyboard drag out the frame to the left so that there's enough space to the left of this because this will determine the margins of everything same thing from the top we will make sure that there's enough margin on the top as well 
You can make this pixel perfect, but for now, I'm just using my visual aid for this. So as you can see, if I ever duplicate this, it will, there will be margins enough on the left and right. You can reduce the margin by any amount and that will make sure that there's less margin on the left when there are cards being replicated like this. I'll call this cards. And in this case, I will use the term container between square brackets. Container is fine like this. So we are now ready with this. Uh, for the image and text and everything, we'll do the same thing. In the image, make sure there is a, I change the name to hotel image. And you need to add a star before this, great. Same thing for the text again. I will skip this portion, but you probably get the gist of it. Just change it to a name you can remember, like hotel name, and then add a star or asterisk or whatever you like to call this before the name. Bravo Studio will basically add text here or add data here in the future. Same thing we need to do with this. We need to create, we need to turn this into a container by right clicking, frame selection, call the frame selection a container in this case again and we will use the same principle but we don't need to place star inside this page this detail page we don't need to place any stars so it can be whatever name you've given it and that is fine now we will go to the hero of today called bravo studio now bravo studio is completely free so you can just say get started and it will give you various options you can just sign in with figma Google or Apple, I suggest signing up with Figma because it will be easier in the long term. It asks you for access to your files, which is fine, which it needs in this case. As you can see, I already have some applications that I've tried to practice with. I have a wallpaper application that I'll be uploading on Play Store. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn. I will post updates on these apps there. Uh, I will quickly go ahead and say import Figma file. I'll close this window, go back to Figma, click on share here click copy link, that's about it. And paste the same link here in this text box here. I'll say import, and it will show you a little loading bar that showing that it is now importing your designs from Figma to Bravo. See the name is the same, Travely. Uh, we have two screens that we made. Uh, before we even begin with Bravo Studio, I forgot to do one thing. In Figma, you can quickly create a live prototype and then take this prototype from one screen to the other, say navigate to on tap, hotel details, that's fine. And instant is fine for now. And this will be duplicated or replicated here in Bravo Studio. To refresh the Figma designs, you can always click on this refresh button on the top right, and that will do the needful for you. We need to now connect some data to this. Where do we get data from? So for that, you don't need to know any code or MySQL or anything. You just need to go to a tool called Airtable. And on Airtable, I'll already have an account. Make sure you sign up. Again, signing up is free. So I quickly need to create a new base here. Start with a template? No, I'll start from scratch. You can always give the base any color. Since we're on YouTube, I'll give it a red, which is crazy. Uh, I can always rename the base to whatever I like. I'll give it the same name, Travely. Just like we do in Excel, I will fill these details here. In this case, this will be the name of the hotel. So I can always change this to name of hotel and it will remember it as that name. And in this case, I want the hotel name to be Puneet's Wonderful Villa. <laughs> Ooh. You can always check what data you would like. So in this case, we need a city and a country. We will fix that later. In this case, there is the name of the hotel and the price. So in this case, I will change this from notes to price. And if I click on this little arrow on the top right here, I can customize the field type. So rather than being long text, I can turn this into a single line text which is fine. Attachments are great because attachments will be the ones where we'll place the hotels. So I'll go to, I'll quickly go to Unsplash and find a random hotel, a beautiful hotel. Yeah, that is what I'm going to type on Unsplash. Unsplash is absolutely free and I love the tool. So I'll save this image quickly, go back to the air table and inside attachments, I will click on this add attachment button, select files to upload. And I will basically upload this little image file here. Once it's uploaded, it'll show up here. The price I'll set status. I will we'll change this from uh, status to something like. Now I will add the city and country. So basically this will be where this hotel is located. Another single line text as usual. And inside city, I'll name it Delhi. I'll add another field from by clicking plus here and I'll say country. 
So it will basically save the uh, country where it is from. Now to make multiple records rather than creating new records, I'm just gonna copy this entire thing by dragging out, say Command C or Control C and paste it right below it. So you have multiple here. I'll, I can always set the price to something else, replace the image, change the city, whatever you like, you can always do. So I'm going to go back to the Bravo Studio app here. I'm going to something called data library on the left, which is going to import the data. I want to click on new collection and it automatically imports Airtable data from here. So I'm going to click on share on Airtable, go to base, make sure that there's sharing is private read only link here and just copy this link from here back to our Bravo. And for the API key, all you need to do is go to your profile here, go to account and under here, you'll have a automatically generated API key. Copy this, go back to Bravo, paste it here and say complete. As you can see, it's automatically importing all the details from our air table that we had created. So there's no difficulty doing that. As you can see, table one is the name of the table. Depending on what table name you have, you can always change it here as well. So in this case, if I click on send, it will send a little request. Make sure ID is selected and records on top are selected. Everything else you can always deselect. For the image, make sure that the URL, which is the attachments URL, is selected. You just need to select what is required. In this case, it's the city, the country, that is fine. Everything else I can deselect. Once I've deselected all the redundant or all the data that I don't want. All right, so for the next step, the details. The details is the details page where you'll expand information. So in this case, I need a few settings. Go back to list, click on send once again. And inside here, there is something called records ID. I just want to copy the ID, which is given in green here. Go back to details. Inside parameter, I want to type in capital I and D. ID all in caps and inside here I want to copy this right here this key here this will give you the information that you require you can then go ahead and select the information like the name of the hotel the price uh, the image which is the URL in this case so that is about it for setting up our database okay now comes the interesting and fun part I've gone back to projects under travelly I have these two screens I'll click on the hotel screen first I'll click on select collection and inside this I have different collections that we had in this case travelly is what we're looking for request is the list in this case we will be listing different hotels so that is the list we need to select so list table one list is fine now under name of places as you can see we have name of places there will be a new tab opened here under this under none we want to click on records this could be something else, but in most cases, it's records. In this case, we want city, of course, the name of the city. In this case, it is city and under country, we also want to change it to country. Make sure that name of places has records opened. I'll quickly update it so that it up stays updated with the application. Inside hotel details, I want to say travelly again. Now, since we're not listing any lists here, we are picking up details from the list. I'll click on details. Now inside Bravoized, I'll click on this. I don't need to select records in this case. I just need to click on the price and the name and everything. So in this case, it will be hotel. And I can quickly click on the hotel. I will also click on the image, which is the background image in this case. And I'll use attachments zero once again. We don't have any other information, which is, but in your case, you can have as much information as you like. Now, after doing everything here, you have many other options. You can either publish it as an APK, you can install it on your Android device, or you can publish it as an iOS app on the Play Store, which is fantastic. And you can even add Firebase, so you can add login details, registration, and much more. That is much in depth. If you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you comment down below if you want to see a massive application created with this. There's something called Bravo Vision, which you will need to install to kind of test this out on your Android or, or, or your iPhone. You can always, of course, export this as an APK, as I showed earlier. Just get the debug APK and install it on your phone. Or you can test it out on through the cloud without installing any additional files through iOS or Android app. 
I'll have a small, uh, you know, screen playing here with the final results. You can go in depth with the masters list. The masters list shows you everything that you can do. And I'll have the masters list in the description as a link and all the files and resources that are used so that you can follow along and create, start creating your own application. So that was essentially it for this video. It is that easy to create an application or a website these days with just your designs. Nothing else is required. In this case also, we didn't have to install anything. We didn't have to learn anything. It was that easy. I have also uploaded a Figma to Webflow tutorial on how you can convert your Figma designs into Webflow. If you missed that, make sure you check it out. I'll have a link in the description. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday and even sometimes Saturdays. I'll see you next time. Till then, have a great week ahead. God bless.